Oh, let's explore the Euclidean skies With each theorem will rise and rise Math is a journey, a joy for I In this book, let's take pride So welcome to Book Rights House. Today we are joined by Mr. Franz Rothe, the author of the book A Course in Old and New Geometry to Basic Euclidean Geometry. I'm Michaela Ramirez, your host from Book Rights House. Hello, Mr. Rothi. Hello. Good day. How are you today? Oh, I'm fine. Yeah, finally I got this connection. Ah, okay. That's very good. Yeah. Okay, so here's my first question for you. What inspired you to write your book, A Course in Old and New Geometry to Basic Euclidean Geometry? And how did the concept of blending classic and modern geometry come about? I have been a professor and teaching the course Fundamentals of Geometry at UNC Charlotte. I taught this for 15 years about. And uh, I saw that it is rewarding to write down lectures after they have been taught uh, and improve them this way over the years also for the exercises this is helpful and so i got more and more engaged together the material okay so how do you approach explaining complex mathematical concepts in a way that is both accessible and engaging for readers, especially those who might be new to Euclidean geometry. Yes, I try to make a hands-on approach, uh, pose problems, simple and more difficult problems in a mixture. And uh, also I use very much the blackboard to make my drawings, even with colors, color chalks. And I encourage the students also to use drawings and for especially for the geometric constructions, that's very important. Yeah. Because mathematics is very difficult for some, if not for all. Of course, yeah. So in your opinion, what is the most significant takeaway for readers from your book? What should they understand or appreciate about Euclidean geometry that they might not have before? They see that geometry is very logical. This begins with the old Greek, with Thales already, the first beginnings of the classical Greeks, and then ends in the... In the uh, imperialistic Greeks uh, with Euclid uh, who made a whole uh, axiomatic system and all the steps between this simple theorems and proofs of simple theorems up to a whole system that I try to um, get into my course covered from simple uh, theorems up to the really important facts like Pythagoras and uh, trigonometry and so on. Okay, so the book emphasizes both classical geometry and modern interpretation. How do you see these two elements complementing each other in the study of mathematics? Well, they are both needed, these elements. The modern approach is very abstract, going to Hilbert. One needs to really deal with the axiomatic system without any uh, appeal to intuition and vision. But on the other hand, uh, geometry is very practical and also used in engineering and in architecture. And one begins with very uh, visual approach. And therefore, one needs uh, the, the or part of the antiquity as well. So can you share to us an example of a concept in or theorem from the Euclidean geometry that, while simple, had a profound impact on other area of mathematics or science? Yeah, of course, the Pythagorean theorem is for every time 
and every other, the most important one, and also trigonometry, sine and cosine theorems, it takes the first place uh, if you want to answer this question honestly. Okay. So how has your background and experience in the field of mathematics influenced the writing and structure of your book? Yes, of course, I like uh, abstract thinking and I like also problem solving. And I learned to write down mathematical with all the formulas quite fluently. That has influenced and helped me. And also the necessity to write down to be able to explain more clearly. That also motivated me. Did your character, uh, did your career rather in the field of geometry shape how you communicate these concepts through your book? Well, I try to communicate clearly and not sh uh, shy away from abstract things, begin with simple as much as possible, but not explain the same thing in three different ways, but keep with some honest axiomatic language from the beginning, even if it refers to simpler facts. So how do you think understanding the origin of the Euclidean geometry enriches a reader's grasp of modern mathematical principles? That, of course, happened historically very well, that axiomatic was at first developed in geometry before, many hundred years before it was developed in algebra and mathematical physics. And therefore, that question has a natural answer and every teacher will keep in the beginning to the beginnings of geometry with Thales and the right angle and the half circle more or less and then come to proportions measuring with proportions and come to the basic facts of geometry and uh, quite quick to to pythagoras of course this whole road will will be kept this way i i did not try to change things which are really the best way possible okay so what role do you believe mathematics, especially geometry, plays in our daily lives and in shaping the world around us? How can your readers better appreciate the relevance of geometry beyond the classroom? Well, they will uh, appreciate this if they are engineers or architectures then they will naturally appreciate this or if they have some uh, tendency to interest themselves for building and construction, then they will see this. Otherwise, many people will not see it because planning and information has a, a greater influence on the modern life than just geometry. Uh, mathematics is intimidating, especially geometry. What advice do you have for students or readers who may be intimidated by the subject of geometry? Can How can they overcome these challenges in being intimidated by geometry? Yeah, to have a whole book finished is intimidating. And th that is hard to change. So... Uh, I don't force or encourage the student to read the whole book in once, but to keep with some simpler problems, work on them and try themselves and then look again in the book if they cannot go on and then read a bit more but they can understand. They need not read all the book through. It is uh, Many things are independent of each other. Yeah, so you've been teaching mathematics before so how do you help students who have been um who find mathematics difficult how do you help them um love the subject yeah if they try themselves to work on simple problems in the beginning well try to work together also yes. and use pencil and paper 
to solve problems and then if they are stuck with one thing they go away and take a walk and think a bit different on this yeah that seems to be too simple to to be helpful but i think it's the best thing for myself and why should it not help the students as well yeah right so finally how do you have do you have any other plans for future projects particularly related to geometry or other areas of mathematics what would you do you have any um future projects that you'd like to share with us i have really written many books in the, the in the immediate level which you can see on Barnes and Nobles now this work on geometry has really six volumes there this is the second volume which i uh, think is the most basic and important there are five other volumes which stress more the axiomatic way of geometry that's the very first volume but if you begin with this then it gets too abstract for many people the second volume is more school like than the other ones but then it goes on with a theory of construction with a theory of the parallel action and with hyperbolic geometry and um, uh, projective geometry and to every one of these subjects is uh, now dedicated one of these volumes and uh, i try to make them self-contained you, you don't need to read all the beginning to see to understand this the important facts are repeated there uh, but um, that depends then on the course what the student needs most of the time it will be that second volume basic euclidean geometry so where can our readers get a copy of your book they are sold on Barnes and Nobles as a paperback and hard cover and I'm have been working now to get ebooks which was really expensive and difficult to get somebody to do this now they already several volumes of this geometry ever are available as ebook even more or less expensive and then it will be not that heavy books carrying around if you can use the ebook. Thank you so much for that. So you can get a copy of the book. We have the ebook available also for this one. And finally, what can you say or what can you impart to those readers who find mathematics boring? That's a Thank difficult you. question. Yes, uh, it needs a motivation from the practical point and that <clears throat> alters many things and presents them in a different way than mathematicians themselves present them. And uh, <clears throat> then perhaps they learn it. They will learn it not only at the university, but perhaps at some courses needed in their career. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so thank you so much for your time, Mr. Rothi. Do you have anything else to share with us? Yeah, I have I have written several books here, not only on mathematics, but I have done something totally different. I wrote here a book uh, with the title Recalling Past Life, but these are more small episodes from my school time, uh, from my relation to music, my practicing of music through the whole life, then um, also talking about my PhD advisor, talking about other subjects, not all related to mathematics, uh, but many to music and to my father. And that might be more enjoyable for other readers. Yeah. Okay. Also literature, some important literature is uh, there. Okay. mentioned and talked about okay thank you so much mr rothy we had a great time um knowing you and knowing the book the entitled a course in old and new geometry to basic euclidean geometry thank you so much yeah. for your time my pleasure yeah thank you
tells a story in shapes We find our glory with every page Our minds ignite Learning together feels so right Right, I Let's take pride.